And back here at home, a man held at gunpoint over his car, and it was just one of the carjackings in Overland Park today. And police believe it's the same thief. Yeah, police say someone tried stealing a car this morning off of 103rd Street. When that didn't work, the thief turned to a man's car from an Overland Park apartment home. And that's where we find 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez joins us now live outside. Andres. Yeah, he sped away from here in a Toyota Corolla heading towards 435, but the spree began in a different apartment complex. There it was a showdown between an army vet and a desperate thief. He said, can give me everything, your wallet, your keys, or I'm going to kill you. This former combat officer told the man pointing a gun to his head one thing. And at the point that I said no, you shot directly to the left of my foot. I felt the lead in the asphalt and it left a three by three hole with the 40 cal round that was right there on the ground. The man managed to use his car as a shield and wasn't hit. I said, you need to get out of here because somebody heard the, the gunshot. Look, and, and I pointed, and that was my opportunity to get to back away. The armed man took off running, but he didn't go far, just a couple of blocks. I just had a this really strange feeling that he was still in that area. And he, and he was. He was at the lodge. Here, police say two hours later, the thin, tall thief carjacked this white Toyota Corolla with Kansas plate 599AOA. The car is still missing all four hubcaps and has black steel wheels. These are a rarity. Um, if somebody does approach you uh, and demand whether it be a purse or a, a car or any property, comply with that. You do not want to get yourself in a situation where somebody is shooting at you over property. The first victim cautions others to be aware of the surroundings and looking back. I wouldn't do it any differently. And now police do say that the suspect is a tall, thin man. The first time during that car attempted carjacking, he was wearing a blue hoodie and orange shorts. During the successful carjacking, he was wearing a red shirt and khaki pants. If you spot him in that white Toyota Corolla, do not approach him because he is considered armed and dangerous. Reporting live in Overland Park this evening, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.